If you're a content creator or your photographer doing slow motion uh, photography, then one of the things you definitely want to make sure you have in your bag is going to be a good set of high quality ND filters. And when it comes to my personal preference, I really do love the Hoya Solus filters, which are a little bit higher end, but they're also more expensive. Um, if you need filters and you're not necessarily going to use them all the time or you're on a budget, then definitely do consider the Hoya HMC filters, which is the entry level line of filters by Hoya. So Hoya is a Japanese company. They make very high quality glass. Um, and their filters are absolutely really, really, really good quality. So ND filters are basically like sunglasses for your camera lens. And really one of the most important things with them is to make sure that those sunglasses are literally just going to cut the light without introducing a huge uh, tint to the image that you would then have to correct. Um, with a lot of the filters, especially cheaper filters, uh, they're typically going to change. Yeah, we're going to darken it. Um, however, we're also going to turn your image green or blue. And sometimes that's going to be more difficult to correct. Uh, but at the very least, it's going to take more time and steps in order to do that. Uh, and that is why people recommend spending a lot more money on a high quality filter, especially an ND filter. The good news is Hoya does make a really, really good filter and a lot of independent tests. Uh, one of the things that you're going to notice about the, even the Hoya HMC filters is for the value, uh, they're truly going to be a very neutral, neutral density filter. Um, I've been using, so I started out with the Hoya HMC 67 millimeter on my Sony uh, 20 millimeter f1.8 lens and I never had to go in and correct for color uh, because this shifted it and ever since then I've been using Hoya HMC filters and then as budget allowed and as the channel grew I purchased started purchasing the Hoya Solus filters which I definitely do like but these are like three to four times the price of an HMC filter. The primary difference is going to be the build quality itself. Um, you do have uh, good quality glass, but then you do have slightly better quality glass on here. The biggest thing is these filters, they are made out of a little bit thinner aluminum for the rings. Um, so I never had a, a filter stuck on onto the front of the lens that wasn't able to take it, take it off. Um, however, it is a little bit smaller. Um, it is not as heavy of a type of a filter on there. But the image quality on them is still actually going to be fantastic. Um, truly, if you're looking for just a really good high quality ND filter, um, do pick these up. Uh, now, once again, these are fixed ND filters. Hoya does have also variable ND filters as well. But the reason why I like fixed ND filters, they're simpler to make, they're simpler to maintain, as it's just one piece of glass. Um, and if you're using a mirrorless camera, you can generally offset uh, any adjustments by just bumping up or down the ISO and you don't have to make too many adjustments on there. Uh, but like I said, the biggest value with these is number one, it's made in Japan, high quality optical glass, and um, you're not going to have to color correct later on because these generally do keep it very, very, very clear as well. So if you're doing slow motion photography, you need ND filters. And then if you're a content creator filming outdoors uh, and doing any type of video recording and you start going off of automatic and going into manual, you absolutely need to have ND filters. Otherwise, your image is going to be completely blown out. And if you're starting out, there's no better options than the Hoya HMC filters.